Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing and regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It's just the way the body works. If you are dealing with a health challenge, if a loved one, friend, family member is dealing with some kind of degenerative long-term health challenge, and you're at your wit's end, and doctors aren't helping you, and the drugs aren't helping you, and you're one of the 100 million plus Americans dealing with these kinds of problems, let us help you change your life. We can do it today. Pick up the phone, call 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Let us show you and our listeners how easy it can be to reverse chronic degenerative disease using a nutritional supplement program, using dietary strategies, using mental health and emotional health strategies. Healing is multidimensional, but healing is easy because it's in the body's nature to do, to do so. 844-236-6010 is our number. Please give us a call. Likewise, if you have a success story or you want to contribute to the conversation, we'd love to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com, my blogs. Products are all available on the website. All the products you hear us talk about on the program, the Nightly Essence and the Fucoid Z and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack, they're all up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Of course, you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website and help me in my mission to educate the world about how powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our skin health products, including our retinol 5%, yes, 5% gel, you're not going to find that anywhere, folks. There's no products on the market, even though there are some that dishonestly will tell you they are. There are no products that have that much retinol in them because retinol is very unstable and very active. On the other hand, my Truth Treatment Retinol 5% Gel as active as it is, will not cause any irritation. It is stabilized, plus you get the bonus of a big old dose of premium fat-soluble vitamin C. Check it out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking about vitamin E, our fat-protecting vitamin, which means it protects everything in the sense that, uh, I should say, all our cells, in the sense that all our cells are covered up with fat. All our, the health of all our cells depends on fat. The health of the cell depends on the, the membrane, which is largely composed of fat. It's a fatty membrane. The health of a cell is dependent on the health of the fatty membrane, and the health of the fatty membrane, in turn, is dependent on vitamin E. Vitamin E is your cell's best friend, or at least one of your cell's best friend, in the sense that this membrane is the determining factor of how healthy a cell will be. And, as we say all the time on this program, all disease is cell disease. Why don't you hear that from your doctor? Because the cell doesn't listen to the doctor. The only way the medical model can do anything about a cell is either to poison it or remove it. That's all you need to know about the failure, the utter failure of the medical model when it comes to dealing with health or long-term health crises, degenerative progressive disease. The cell does not pay attention to a doctor. The cell is like, get the Satan out of here when it comes to the medical model. I don't want to pick on any individual physicians. It's the model. And the cell is not responsive to the model. The only thing the cell, uh, the only thing the, the medical model can do to a cell is poison it or remove it. 
That's it. That tells you all you need to know about how ridiculous our way of treating chronic degenerative disease is. All diseases sell disease. Medicine is helpless at that level. On the other hand, using nutrition, using nutrients, using dietary strategies, everything we talk about on this program, that's how you take care of your cell. And when it comes to vitamin E, vitamin E protects the outside part of a cell, which in large measure was the determining factor on how healthy that cell will be. And by the way, the protection benefit of vitamin E is not just for us. It's not just for human cells. It's not just for animal cells. It's for plant cells, especially for plant cells. We benefit as a side effect. The main benefit of vitamin E, the main reason for the existence of vitamin E is not for us. It's for the plant. Vitamin E's powerful, I mean powerful, antioxidant properties are used by the plant to protect it from the sun. Plants are dependent on the sun. Plants live in the sun all day long. They thrive in the sun. They never get skin cancer. Plants never get wrinkles from the sun as long as they're nutriated appropriately because of things like vitamin E. Vitamin E is designed by the divine force to protect the plant from oxidation, to protect the oils in the plant particularly the seeds of the plant. Vitamin E is a seed protector. Most of the oils that we live on or subsist on in the standard American diet are processed oils. They come from seeds. They're derived from seeds, but they don't have the good stuff. This is the problem with seed oil. This is why nutritionists like Dr. Wallach and others have pointed out that seed oils are problematic. It's not so much when they're in the seed, it's when they're extracted from the seed because they don't have the vitamin E and the other protective factors that are in the seed. They're just the oil. And then you add the fact that they're processed and refined and they're heated and they're, uh, they're solvents that are used. All of this makes seed oils problematic. But it's not so much the oil in the seed. It's when it's extracted from the seed and concentrated in a product and stored in a bottle and then refined and then we cook with it. That's where the problem comes from. You know, and one of the main reasons why these, these concentrated oils that are derived from seeds, which are healthy in the seed, one of the main reasons why they're not good for us is because the vitamin E has been taken out. The oils in a seed are located mostly in the bran portion, that's the outer part of the seed, as well as the germ portion, which is the inner part of the seed. When we process seeds, and make no mistake about it, seed processing, i.e. grain processing, is a super high tech, super profit intensive industry. It would not be inaccurate to say that much of the wealth of our country, of the United States of America, as well as other, other uh, industrial countries, is dependent on this ability that we have, this technology that we have to extract the starch out of seeds and throw the rest out. The bran and the germ, that's the good stuff. We're not eating the bran and the germ for the most part unless we buy it separately. For the most part, we're eating the sweet, carb-rich middle portion of the grain. It's called the endosperm. It also has a little bit of protein in there. The endosperm is extracted from the bran and the germ. The oils are then taken out of the bran and the germ, and they're sold to us as supplements. Or sometimes the oil alone, I should say the, the nutrients in the oil portion are sold to us as supplements, but the oil portion is then sold to us as oil. And by the way, there are lots of these antioxidant nutrients that are found in the brand and the germ. It's not just vitamin E. Vitamin E exists as a member of a team, a protective team. This is how nature works. Antioxidants exist as a team. And in the seed, it's a team of antioxidants that protects the oils. And one of these... There's a very interesting member of, uh, of these protective elements, this, a member of the team, if you will, the antioxidant team, that we talk about sometimes on this program and hear about it a lot these days as something that's not so good for us, something called phytic acid or phytates. Phytic acid and phytates, yes, the same phytic acid that you hear some nutritionists and even consumers telling you that you need to stay away from and avoid, it's actually a very valuable antioxidant and a, and a member of the, the oil-protecting antioxidant team, like vitamin E. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you've got questions about anything we're talking about today, or comments, or success story, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can purchase them right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, and if you're interested in our truth treatment products, please check out truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so phytic acid, really interesting. It kind of underscores or highlights the idea that things aren't all that simple sometimes in the world of nutrition. You know, simplistically, oh, phytates are bad, phytic acid is bad. You hear a lot of folks talking about that. And yes, indeed, there are some problems associated with phytic acid, but that doesn't mean that phytates in general are, are bad. They're part of the seed. They're part of the seed complex. They're part of the way the seed protects itself from rancidity. And just like the phytates or phytic acid will protect the seed or the seed oils from going rancid, guess what? It'll protect our fats from going rancid too, our cell membranes from going rancid as well. That, that means phytic acid can be a darn important protective molecule. The same phytic acid that uh, you hear negative things about actually is part of nature's natural, inherent, built-in antioxidant for seed, uh, for seed oils. And that means it's going to protect our fats too. Phytates or phytic acid are anti-cancer. Yes. They help stabilize and uh, 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 support cell growth. They prevent the formation of tumors. This is phytic acid, the same stuff you hear everybody you know, moaning about and complaining about. And telling you you gotta, you gotta eliminate. Phytic acid uh, can halt the proliferation of cancer cells. They may also help prevent heart disease. They also may help prevent calcification of blood vessels. They may also be important for diabetics. Yes, phytic acid may have benefits for diabetics. Phytic acid will lower the glycemic index of foods. Phytic acid will make it easier for us to process starches. Yes, phytic acid. So contrary to conventional wisdom, phytic acid, there are some really solid, good nutritional reasons to enjoy your phytic acid and your phytates. On the other hand, nothing's that simple. On the other hand, there's problems with phytic acid. Phytic acid is part of the way that the plant or the seed protects itself. And its mechanism, the way it works, the way it protects fats is by locking up, tying up, magnetically attracting, deactivating, if you will, minerals, especially active minerals like iron and copper and zinc. These are highly active minerals, even calcium and magnesium. Not quite as, as active as iron or copper, but, but still pretty active. And this is the problem with phytic acid. This is why some nutritionists will tell you not to use phytic acid or to cook your foods or steam your foods, your grains and seeds, or to sprout your seeds to remove or to minimize or to reduce the phytates, the phytic acid, because these nutritionists know that calcium and magnesium and, and zinc and iron and other minerals can be, uh, can be locked away by phytates and by phytic acid. Well, is that a reason to avoid the phytates or phytic acid? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe we should get more calcium and more magnesium. And then eat or enjoy our phytic acid. It's not like phytic acid is going to completely eliminate all your minerals. It's just going to reduce their availability. So maybe we need more. Maybe we should eat more magnesium and calcium and, uh, and make sure we're supplementing with zinc and, and make sure we're getting our iron from, from uh, quality meats. Make sure we're getting our copper. Make sure we're getting all our nutrients in abundance. And then we can enjoy our phytates and our phytic acid. I'm not saying yay or nay. I'm just saying it's not that cut or dry, cut and dry. By the way, there's a, there is a supplement that you may have seen called IP6. And IP6 has been marketed as a, uh, as a anti-cancer supplement. If you Google IP6, and I think it's called, uh, the, the technical name is inositol, uh, inositol hexaphosphate, IP6. That's what it's called, IP6. And IP6, there's little booklets. I, I read a little booklet a few years ago on IP6, and you know, basically it's somebody selling a product. It's n not definitively anti-cancer, although there is some research that indicates that it might be anti-cancer. 
IP6 is a key lighting agent.